figured why not? Got myself a Mac Mini. My laptop's out of business, so uh, I'm gonna have to use my keyboard, my mouse, and see how good this baby flies. It's the base model, the six score one. I'm gonna do some testing. Let's see what we can do. Bonjour, madame, monsieur, bienvenue à la unboxing de la Mac Mini. My friends, we have a Mac Mini here, and I'm going to tell you and show you how good it performs. Now, right now, unfortunately, I had to put my 15-inch 2018 MacBook Pro into the Apple Store for repair because the keyboard, no functionality. It's been going bad for the past month, and I've just had enough of the sticky keys, so I've taken it in for repair. So I've got seven to ten days until it comes back, and uh, I'm using this 13-inch MacBook Pro from 2016. It runs pretty good. I'm happy with it, but. We have a 2018 Mac <gasps> Mini, and it's got six cores. I want to show you, can it do coding? Can it do Final Cut Pro? How good does it actually really perform? Does it need a good graphics card? Did you, did you know that yes. a graphics card in this is actually 25% slower than a graphics card in this? Oh. La la, say la, soon. La. <laughs> anyway, let's start the show. Let's unbox this bad boy. My friend, we have the French Mademoiselle from all the Bonjour. way from Bonjour. Switzerland. Here you go. Merci beaucoup. Okay, d'accord. Let us open up the box together. Oh. Alright, yeah. Alright, oh, right. okay. Beautiful. Looks good. Looks good. Okay, so it as looks... with all Mac products, you just pull on the tab and voila. Is it heavy? Have. Yes, it is heavy. Alright. Feel. Oh, 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 baby. It's like so an nice. oversized Apple TV, isn't it? Yes. Mm. So what do I do? Smell it. You must smell. When the oh. moon hits you, you lie like a big a pizza plate. That's amore. All right, let's do it. Oh, oh, oh Mac Ooh, Mini. Nice. Says, says Mac Mini right there. Nice. It's like um, if anyone is alive, old enough to know about DVDs and CDs, it looks like a CD oh, over there, isn't it? It does. Yeah. It's beautiful. All right, we got this beautiful. Oh, would you, beautiful. Let's check out the ports. Oh. Look at that. Oh, oh. sucks. You got I love a good port. <laughs> Four <laughs> from the port free. HDMI, two USB C. It's got Ethernet here. You can plug in a NAS yeah. drive directly. I was going to opt in for the 10 gigabit version, but they never had it in stock, and I kind of wanted a Mac right now. And anyway, my NAS drive is Thunderbolt free, so I don't really need it. And the power supply is built in. It's that, that's pretty much it. That's, that's all you're getting out of this device. Yeah. No keyboard, no mouse, no monitor. <laughs> No cable. <laughs> she asked the guy, she was like, does it come with a keyboard? He laughed at us. He said, you want a keyboard? Yeah. Nah, bro. <laughs> you got to pay you for that. You must buy it separately. He's <laughs> like, our MacBook Pro keyboards don't even work. Trust me, you don't want a keyboard from us. Get yourself a proper keyboard. <laughs> that's it. That's the unboxing complete. We hope we dragged it out as long as possible so you guys can tune out now. It's... Hit the dislike button and of course hit the up like button. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Hit the up like for me and the dislike. I should not put that in excited. <laughs> All right, so now um, I'm going to be testing this guy and showing you if it actually works. So let's fast forward to the future, Ash. Does it, does it do Final Cut Pro better than a MacBook Pro 2016? Does the eighth generation Intel, whatever, yeah. I, I, was, in, I was impressed, okay? I, I kind of developed a love relationship for it. I wasn't expecting to find it useful. I thought it would be a mess because it doesn't really have a GPU. And um, it works really well. Like... Um, I didn't struggle with any of the performance seriously, like um, I could get lots of tabs on Chrome, I can get Final Cut up and run, you can actually edit 4K videos. All right, so I'm showing you here an ultra wide monitor, it's 1440p, I can't show you the whole screen at the time, but I'll show you what's going on in my Mac. So I've got um, a bit of Visual Studio in the background and lots of tabs in Chrome. And this project, it is a 4K and 25 frames a second, I always have my background rendering turned off. So all the files, they're not actually on my Mac Mini, they're on my SanDisk Extreme Drive. If any frames drop, it's gonna stop the recording. So we'll see how it performs, if it's cluggy and all that stuff. Now when I'm editing, I always edit at 2x speed, it just makes things a lot faster. And as you can see, I'm jumping around. Things are looking good and fast. I'm even gonna... Okay. There's like no problems that I've noticed. Things look good. And regarding color correction, so for example, in this, this scene, the lighting is very harsh. So what I've got is a little bit of color correction applied. And as you can see, I can actually play that back and things are, are looking fine. But it's not super perfect. If you are trying to render out anything intensive, for example, if I tried um, making, making her a bit cartoonish, 
so straight away I'm getting a notification that playback has to be stopped. But I've been showing you this in better quality, so what you can do is change it to better performance. And that will allow you to edit it. Obviously, um, avoid anything graphically, slightly even graphically intensive, like overlays, that kind of stuff. You can't do that stuff on this machine. You need an eGPU on that. All right, so for general video editing, it's all right to use the Mac Mini, but when you start using lots of rendering effects, you can see that it gets pretty slow. Here I'm just disabling the background off and on, and you can see it is a couple of seconds wait between edits, and I am on better performance. And for example, if I want to move a bit of overlay text, uh, let's uh, move it downwards. And there's no update on the screen, need to wait a little while. So it's really slow if you're trying to do anything that requires graphics, you know, um, rendering based effects. I even played some games in boot camp, and uh, okay, they're slow. You have to be a sadomasochist to enjoy it. Like I was getting 15 frames a second. What's she gonna do? Yow! Oh. Damn. Obviously, I'm doing all this stuff with no eGPU. So the fact that I could get it running, it inspired me and it was only eight gigabytes RAM. The fact that all these applications were loading with just eight gigabytes RAM was really good. I did some auto desk water. This guy broke every computer ever made, all the MacBooks, let's see if he can play. Oh my God, very, very slow. Look at that really slow animation. I did some ZBrush, that one doesn't really use a GPU, but it's still, it worked pretty fine and good. And the thing with ZBrush, it's all about editing the model. So here, I think I'm gonna get a sphere and I think they need to be bigger, right? Boom, boom, oh my God, there you go. ZBrush works on a Mac Mini. I, I gotta say, like, I'm more than impressed. I heard that it was like a no-go machine, but it's, it's a good machine even without an eGPU. All right, straight up, I'm loving the port situation. I've plugged in, just uh, don't laugh about the keyboard, that one's a bit of a mess, but I've plugged in Ethernet, USB-C, Thunderbolt, HDMI, and I've even plugged in a two terabyte external hard drive. This is USB-C speed, so it's a really good one. And I gotta say, my desk is looking pretty damn neat for the first time. Usually I'd have a mess of just cables everywhere and all these kind of like stupid dongles to get some actual stuff happening, but with this uh, Mac Mini, it's very minimalistic. Of course, I might need to get rid of that book now because uh, I've got a nice monitor. But, you know, I figured I'm gonna turn it on for the first time with you guys. I wanna share this moment with you. There's a button here, just right at the back here. I'm gonna push it. Lights come on. Come on, baby. Hey! There's an Apple logo on my screen. Oh my God, the screen's gone yellow. All right, we want a mouse, so what do I do? Turn it off and on. Hey, look at that, it just works. Plugged in straight away and it detected the mouse. The right button after shift is Z and then it's forward slash, done. There you go, we're in. I like it. Don't know what to do now. Now it's time to test the f One thing I have to point out though is Previously, on my MacBook Pro, whenever I'm copying, especially transferring this much files, the MacBook Pro is so, so noisy, whereas this guy right now, it's so quiet. Ash, can I ask you something? Yeah. Why did you need to buy this? I told you, my keyboard's broken. My oh. keyboard broken. My 2018, <laughs> my, you know, do you know, there's something you guys need to know about condoms. They ripped. I actually took off the keys and one of my keys was ripped and the, the, the mechanism, the butterfly mechanism, is actually slightly broken. So uh, when they inspected it, they said, you know what, <laughs> we're gonna have to take it in for a proper repair. So they ordered a, a top lid and it's gonna take a couple of weeks to arrive, so. That is actually a very good lesson, guys. Condoms are only 76% effective as true? a birth control is that method. True? Correct. And they got like, I don't know, 100 keys on the keyboard. So there's got to be one a of couple gonna, of... One of them is going to... One of them is going to break. Gonna fail. All right, back to the drawing board, Apple. Just pop some proper keyboards in. I'm sick of it, actually. I'm really sick and tired yeah, of this broken keyboards. It's just random. 
But uh, I probably for me it's worse because I live in front of the computer, right? Yeah. Yeah, for you it's actually your arm broke as well. My arm broke too. <laughs> I don't even use it. <laughs> Okay, d'accord, we hope that you enjoyed this very fruitful unboxing of Le Book. I gotta say, I like this already. It looks really sexy. Like it? Yeah, it looks beautiful. Actually, I kind of want to keep it, you know. I, it looks beautiful. It's like a Mac Pro. It does look nice. Yeah. It does look nice. All right, hopefully, um, is anyone still tuned in? We should have just done this live. That would have been interesting. That just live been stream this crap. That, that would have been, been fun. Yeah. My wife was like, get a Mac Mini. I was like, why? I already got a MacBook backup. It's like, get a Mac Mini. It's like, do it. Oh. He looks so grumpy. Mm. So grumpy. Happy New Year. This is the kind of content you're going to be experiencing on this channel because my wife wants to be part of the show. No, 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 no. This is all going to be cut. None of this is going to the final edit, okay? Don't talk to me like that. As soon as I got a couple of thousand subscribers, she was like, I want to be in your videos. Before I was like, be as nerd as you like, you little loser. I was like, I want to be in your videos. Yeah, and on that note, we're going to say goodbye for now. <laughs> <laughs> Should we close with it? Oh, yeah, okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs>